Good morning, YouTube. Uh, so this is a quick video, no editing, right off the bat, first thing this morning. Uh, so this is in regards to my life and where I'm at. Um, so I haven't been uploading a lot of uh, YouTube videos lately because I do have about two to three videos uh, in process of editing right now. Uh, one's a response video to another person's video. One has uh, topics in regards to multiculturalism and segregation and if it's good or not. Uh, so that has a direct tie to the United States and the poll or the poll, <laughs> the debate that's going on right now. So the reason why I haven't been uploading is because I've been very, very busy uh, on the work front, uh, work has been quite stressful. Um, so about a month and a half ago, we had to let go of a lot of workers because the economy in Canada right now is quite tight. So my company that I work for let some people go. And as a result, I have ended up taking up more responsibilities, um, doing the work of about three positions. Yeah. So I work in a warehouse and I'm all alone on my side doing extra work and it's been really stressful actually I'm starting to get quite stressed out and worried about my health as you can hear I got sick again so either it's from overworking at uh, my job and not getting proper sleep or maybe it's because of the uh, fall season coming upon us so the change of seasons um, yeah so I'm actually having thoughts and talking to myself uh, in regards to creative ways to totally kill all my coworkers and my bosses. I'm not going to put it into practice, obviously, but I'm, I've never been that type of person to, to imagine those. So I'm kind of feeling like an average 9 to 5 Joe. Yeah, so... And uh, on the private, personal side of life, um, I've been busy with uh, friends' weddings, uh, doing art projects as well. Uh, I recently just signed up three gigs for modeling here as well, so that, again, keeps me busy and away from uh, uploading YouTube videos. So, uh, there's that. So, work stressing out, private life is keeping me busy, um, and I'm working on multiple projects. Now... Uh, some good happy news. I don't know if any of you know, but there is a uh, men's rights movement documentary film that is showcasing here in Edmonton uh, at the Nate campus. Uh, if any of you don't know, I live in the same city uh, as Karen Strawn, uh, Edmonton, Alberta, and there is a showing tonight, which I will be working my damnedest to get my lines done in order to get there on time. Um, so the Red Peel... Uh, was a documentary created by a feminist uh, named Cassie who is, you know, she was interested in the idea of rape culture and her <laughs> feminist lens view on life. And But her, her pursuit of the rape culture thing redirected her to doing a documentary that took years in the making uh, with uh, looking into the men's rights act or men's rights movement with men's rights activists. So Karen is in the movie, and she will be there tonight at the showing uh, for Q&A afterwards, and I hope to get to meet her again. Uh, and she said in her video that Dr. Randomer Cam should be there as well, so I'm looking forward to meeting him for the first time. Um, yeah, so there'll be a meet and greet. Watch the, watch the movie, which I'm excited for. Um, apparently... Cassie has seen a lot of pushback from feminists, uh, and apparently in Melbourne, Australia, I believe, um, the theater that, the small theater that was showcasing the documentary, uh, feminists had heard about it, and they slandered it, and they attacked it, and they got it shut down, uh, doing reviews on it for a movie they have never even seen, so that's, uh, that's interesting, and, uh, got shut down, so, um, I think that the more people we have aware of this documentary and the more people that go and watch it, um, they will see a very even and balanced movie um, in regards to the men's rights movement. So, uh, Karen Strawn did a really good three-part series in regards to a podcast by this woman named Gigi, a feminist, and her boyfriend, Mike, uh, and 
that I recommend watching. It's, you know, over three hours long, but Karen does such a good job with it, so go check out her channel for that. Um, it's based on the review of the, of the red pill. So that's my day today. I hopefully will not be overworked and dirty by the time I'm done work. So I have time to go and wash up and present myself for watching this movie. And there's my cats. Anyway, you guys, uh, have a good one. I will be uploading, uh, uh, YouTube videos here shortly, hopefully before Halloween. And speaking of that, public service announcement, you know what, for Halloween, guys, don't worry about this cultural appropriation bullshit. Dress as you want. Let us bring back Halloween as it was meant to be. Uh, Halloween is a holiday for me that, you know, you, you can go and trick-or-treat. You can hand out candy to kids. You can scare people. Get terrified. Uh, dress as you want um, and have a good time. Be safe, obviously. Um, you know, be responsible in your partying and don't do anything stupid. But, you know, forget about that cultural appropriation bullshit. Dress as you want. Uh, if you want to dress as a Native American, go ahead. If you want to dress as a rapper, go ahead. Or, you know, a terrorist. You know what? Everybody should dress up as a feminist or an SJW. All you need is the fucking brightly colored hair, get a little bit overweight with problem glasses, and bitch about first world problems. <laughs> Am I right? So, um, I was thinking about going as a Native American just to piss people off. Um, but I think in the end, I might just wrap myself up in tinfoil and go as a baked potato. So, because, I mean, if somebody gets offended over a baked potato, you know the world is truly, truly screwed up. So anyways, thanks guys. Uh, and as always, take care of one another and I will hopefully upload videos shortly. Bye guys.